Hello everyone, I'm Emily Powers and I'm going to be painting a puppy dog with acrylic paints and I'm going to do it step by step so you can see what exactly what I'm doing and you can follow along if you want. And there are some links in the description to some of the supplies. You can see the supplies that I'm using in the description and also, if you buy some supplies through those links, a percentage of your purchase supports my channel. And I'm going to start with my spray bottle and like just spray all over the canvas some. And then spray my paint so my paint will stay wet and it'll go, the paint will go on my canvas better. And then I'm going to take a number six filbert, it's Princeton Summit, so it's a half inch rounded tip. And for the top of the background, it's like you can see the sky. So it's blue back here. And so I'm taking titanium white and then some phthalo blue. I just put a little bit of the blue out because I knew I wouldn't need a whole lot. Just put this at the top. all the way across and I'm going to do a second layer on the background so this is just kind of putting in uh, some of the colors of what's in the picture and we're going to go back and kind of do more detail later okay so I took some Titanium white and some burnt sienna. I'm going to get some cadmium yellow, medium, and a little bit of phthalo green. And some more yellow. Some burnt sienna, so I'm just going to get some more green. It's pretty light in certain parts. I'm just going to blend in with the blue. And it's like grass something back here coming up. And then when it gets closer, I'm going to make it a brighter green, so I'm going to get phthalo green and cadmium yellow medium. Make it brighter like that. It's really bright. And get some white. I'm going to put some of that in the back. And it gets really bright once it gets. up close and if you enjoy this video please give it a like and subscribe I post a new video every Friday so if you hit Emily Powers Art right below the video it will take you to my channel and you can check out some of my other videos.
Alright, I'm gonna get like a brighter green with less white. and blend it in. It's a little darker. I didn't make it quite as light as up above. And this is the first layer, so I'm just putting the basic colors. All right, so we got the whole thing with color. Alright, so now we want it to dry so that we can go back and do a second layer. So you can use a hair dryer to dry it faster, but acrylic paint tends to dry pretty fast anyway, so you could also just wait a little bit and then move on but I'm going to pause the video and have mine dry okay so I think now I can go on to the next step so I'm going to get the blue and I'm going to at first I'm going to do pretty much the same thing that I did a second time and give it a second coat, but I might do something a little different once I get to the bottom. I'll just kind of see when I get there. Alright, so do a blue up here. And then get this yellowy color and kind of blend into it a little bit. Get a little bit more green. All right, so kind of blend into the blue. Now when we get down here, we're going to get more of that lighter bright green. Okay. Right 
push that up. And I'm getting s some white with this. And now I come down to the bottom. I'm not, I don't think I want to add any more white. I'm going to do this darker. Give it a second coat. And it's kind of mixing with some of the lighter color. So now I'm going to get some, you could do this after it was dry, I'm going to get some white and a little bit of that green. Gonna be really blurry when it's far back and then it's gonna kind of slowly start getting some detail when it gets closer see more of the leaves and things when it comes up I'm going to let, let it dry now and I'll do some more in the next layer. So I'm rinsing this brush out again. And so now I'm going to pause and let it dry. Okay, so I ended up dripping some on this. Got some water or something, so I'm going to go and try to cover that up. to go back and do it again but all right now I'm gonna get some of my green again and do a 
different like shapes and just different things down here. This I'm gonna kind of do some skinny little like pieces of grass down here. Do some like bigger leaves down here. Get a little bit of burnt sienna. Make green a little darker. And put a little bit of darker green in some spots. Get some more yellow. And the cover, at least give it some more detail in some of these other spots over here. Alright, and I'm going to rinse this brush out. quarter inch angular shader. It's Princeton Select. So this one's got like an angle on the end. First I'm going to work on this spot up here. to get this yellow and do some small little spots like this and you don't have to do 
a whole lot of detail in the grass if you don't want to. I want to do a little bit more on it though. Okay, and we'll get some more of like good more of the phalo green. And it doesn't have as much white in it. Okay, and I'm just kind of doing some small little lines down in this front part. Some more yellow. There's some yellow looking ones. And you can do some in more detail even where the dogs go to sit so that in case you don't end up covering a certain spot you thought the dog would cover, there would still be grass there. Alright, now I'm going to get some more white. Some yellow. And more white. Make it pretty light. And now do in some lighter. And once I don't have a whole lot of paint on my brush, I can go back kind of farther where it's all blurry. And I can kind of do some just light, lightly brushing it.
lights in the lighter and I don't want a whole lot. I'm just kind of doing some Okay. Now I'm going to get more yellow. And Just kind of mix the green and the yellow and Okay, and rinse it off, and there's going to be some leaves that are in front that's kind of blurry. So I'm going to take some green, and I'm going to get my big filbert now, and I'm going to Go over some of it. And kind of blur the front, the grass that's right in front. Get some phyllo green and burnt sienna. And do like a dark Okay, so in front it's all just kind of blurry and you don't have a whole lot of detail. I'm going to rinse my brush out and I think I can do the dog. So I'm going to use a 
a watercolor pencil and draw him out and the top of the head it's like he's going to be right in the middle so the top of the head I'm going to do like if this is the very middle of the canvas then his head's going to be kind of on the fourth and it's kind of slanted a little bit and let's see it's going to stop if I do middle middle it's going to be a little bit past this middle mark in between like the here and here it's going to be in the middle but just a little bit over from that and I'm going to do split it again and in the middle here alright and then I'm going to do one ear comes out about to do middle fourth so it's going to be a little bit in from that and then this side here here great okay, there all right so I'm going to do top of his head and then gun ear it comes off and comes down see the tip is going to be right in the middle so it's going to stop and the drawing is probably going to look a little weird normally does look more weird than when you actually paint it mm. that ear down mm. it's gonna end like a little bit below half it's kind of tilting his head a little bit Do this down for his body and from his ear back here, and his collar is kind of Okay, and then um, this is kind of where the face is going to be, right in here, so I'm going to, right here above the collar, I'm going to do a line, and then I'm going to bring it up and back down, and that's going to be his nose coming out there and he's going to have his eyes are going to be right here and here so Okay, this is like really 
looking weird and trying to figure out what I need to do. Of course, the drawing, like I said, the drawing always looks really weird. But, alright, so here's his nose. Maybe we need to put the nose in. So it's kind of a little, a little bit like a triangle, just all the edges are rounded. And then, it's going to be his mouth. And really, I don't think the eyes are that. That far up. Down there. That's better. And ear comes in, out, okay, I think we're getting the drawing better, it'll look better once we paint it, but this is looking pretty good for the drawing part, alright, so, it's kind of like, this part's kind of like a triangle, and the eyes are kind of sort of triangular too and then nose is a little bit like a triangle and then you got this triangle but all of them are kind of rounded all right so I'm going to take my quarter inch angle now it's the same one I was using for the grass and I'm just going to fill in like the basic colors so, we get burnt sienna, and yellow, a little bit of ivory black, a little bit of white, Okay, and fill in just a little bit. I won't do all of the like hair that's coming off because we want to do that later. I'm just using this color to just kind of put in kind of where I want. on the edges I'm not really I'm not really trying to put a hard line on the edges some black over here and burnt sienna and it kind of makes like burnt umber it looks very similar to burnt umber when I mix black and burnt sienna and I'm gonna put that dark brown in here so he's gonna look really weird so don't like give up 
once you see how ugly it's going to be this part but just fill in these sections Got some dark in between the face and the ears. Not completely covering up the eyes, but Covering it quite a bit. And body. Okay, you can get some like burnt sienna and some up under the eye, under the nose, in between like the burnt umber color and the really light color so there's still like a lot left to kind of cover like all the little dots on here but I'm just I don't want to go too fast and cover something up, like some part of the grass that I don't want to cover up. Alright, I'm going to rinse that out. And I'm going to go ahead, I think, and kind of stick in kind of where I want the eye and the nose. So I'm going to get a number one round. It's Princeton Velvet Touch. And I'm getting the black. And, oops. Got some of the lighter color. So I think it'll look better once we get the eye in. Oops, just drop the brush. Okay, kind of see where we want this one. It's going to look, the, even the eyes are going to look a lot better once we get the highlight in. So just kind of the nose. The nose is just a little bit bigger than the eye. Not a whole, whole lot. Okay, so everything's a little funky right now. Looks a little not right, but 
just the first coat. So I'm going to get my quarter inch angle again. I'm going to put a little bit of dark in the ear there. I'm going to get some burnt sienna. And do some burnt sienna there. And then I'll get some of the lighter color. Okay, some darker. So now, even though this layer is still going to look pretty bad, we're going to cover over better than before. So it's kind of like kind of like when we did the background the first time, we covered over it a second time to give it another coat. That's kind of what we're doing with this now. I didn't get the shape of the nose right, but can kind of work on it later. Okay, so I'm going to get some of this lighter where I want a little bit lighter color. You can kind of tell that it's a dog, just you can also tell he's like still being worked on, so. <laughs> And I'm just kind of ending it down here because the grass is going to be covering up the feet. get that number one round and right around the eye I'm going to try to get some of that green get some of the lighter color 
and zoom in to the face and get some lighter color and I'll do it up under it's not really a whole lot lighter make it mix some more okay some lighter under and then get like the dark brown Get some of the lighter and put it above. Above the eye. So, I'm going to get some cadmium yellow and white with some of that lighter color we've been using and put that on top of the head. It's very light. Okay, and then I'll get off to the side, I'll get some cadmium yellow, some burnt sienna. It doesn't really have a whole lot of white in it. Get more burnt sienna. Right where this like ear is, I'll put some burnt sienna. And get some of the lighter color we used on the top of the head. And put some over here. And I'll get like the burnt umber mixture and So I'm going to get that lighter again and go right above the eye. So just slowly working on adding more detail get some burnt umber and put it around that lighter color I just put down Okay. okay, I'll 
I'll take some burnt umber and go and blend in with that lighter. And I'll get some burnt sienna. And some of my lighter color again. And then I'll get some of the black. Okay. And I'll get a little bit of that lighter color and put it right there under his chin. Okay, put some black where the ear and the face are in between. Some black down there, like a shadow. And I'm going to rinse this out. I'm going to take my angle brush again. I'm going to do it down here, do some lighter color. some of that darker brown again and blend in some of that Get some of the lighter. There's going to be grass that's covering right here, so okay. 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 Let's start out.
work on the ears. So I'm going to get a, this is a quarter inch filbert granier and going to get some yellow and some white and a little bit of burnt sienna Trying to get it all right, so it's kind of orange, and I'm gonna water it down some. You don't want it too watered down, but you want it watered down enough that you don't come off the brush easy. So Okay, I think I'm going to need a different color that I didn't have out, and that's yellow ochre. I thought I might not need it, but I think I do. So I'm going to put some of that out. And I'm going to get some yellow ochre. And water it down. And Okay, I'm going to have to get some water, get some white with that yellow ochre and water it down. Okay. I'll do some more to that later. And get my 
small round and um, gonna do some of that yellow ochre. some sienna and blend that in and then I'll get the burnt umber get some burnt umber and put it between two lighter areas. Get that yellow ochre again. And burnt sienna. did. There's like two lighter areas and then there's some darker in between. I'm going to get some black for this area. Between the eyes it's kind of dark. Get some burnt sienna with some of the burnt umber. Okay, and I'll get some of the yellow ochre and do some just a little bit where oops some black okay and I'll get the collar put in. So I'll get some burnt sienna and ivory black. So got a little bit more burnt sienna than the the dark color. The dark brown. And on the edges, I'm going to get black. Alright. 
to it slowly getting better. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of this light, like cadmium. No, I think that was yellow ochre and some white. It right there. Okay, then get some yellow ochre without a lot of white some burnt sienna it gets to the darker all right and then Get some the like burnt umber color. Okay, get some. Okay, let's see. It's that dark out of my brush. We'll get some of the yellow ochre. We'll go under the nose. And I got some black now. We'll get some of the burnt sienna and some of that dark brown. And go in there a little bit. Get some of the yellow ochre. Some of the cadmium yellow medium and some white. It's got a little bit of that burnt sienna with it. And I'm going to do that dark, that lighter spot underneath the chin. Take some black and go around it. Kind of make it disappear. And I'm going to get some burnt sienna. And Some burnt sienna up under the chin too. So you can see like that dark triangle. Alright.
All right, I'm going to get some black and do his nose again. Be a little bit more careful this time. And we're going to get some of that yellow. Let's that out of my brush. Okay, get the yellow. Do it up under. Okay, get that black again. Make some of that like dark brown with the burnt sienna and the black. brown under there. to get some of the yellow ochre and some white. Get lighter. And Get some burnt sienna and then get the black. Alright, now I'm going to get some of my black and just a little bit of white and maybe a little bit of the phthalo blue. And put it on the top, the nose.
It's not want it to be really dark, except for the parts I want to put the highlights. Okay. Okay. a bit down and then gonna blend it So now, I am, this eye over here is too high, so I want to bring it down some. So I'm going to get some of the yellow, I'm going to bring it, oof, two tons of water on there. Alright, get some of the yellow, understand why it's like not wanting to. Alright, get some more uh, yellow, just make it be kind of messy, and I'll cover it up better. So since it's tilting its head a little bit, this eye should be lower, a little bit lower than the other one. So it looks weird because we took off some of the paint and then had to cover it back up. But all right, so I'm gonna work on this eye. So yellow ochre. Right there. Get some white a little bit. Okay, and then get some of that burnt umber. And I'm going to bring it down to the eye. Get some burnt sienna right in here. Some of the like burnt umber color. And some yellow 
Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get some cadmium yellow. Get a brighter. And some white. Get some the brighter color. And make some more of that dark brown. And put it up against the eye. Some burnt sienna, so I can see where I'm putting it. Alright, and get some black. So from the eye, it's going to be some black that kind of comes down towards the nose a little bit. And get some more burnt sienna. Just a little bit of black. And Okay, some yellow ochre and burnt sienna. So it kind of turns it orange. And some cadmium yellow, medium. And that above his head. Alright, and then get cadmium yellow and some white, maybe some yellow ochre, and put this like bright yellow on top of his head. Put some in the ear. Alright, I'll work on this eye over here. So put that yellow there. And we'll get the dark. And go use some right there, and then more yellow. Okay. to get some of this yellow ochre and take some water and water it down 
and I'm gonna go get some water or um not water white make it lighter get some of the burnt sienna and the yellow ochre okay and then I'll get the lighter Um, like a darker burnt sienna alright I'll go do some on this other side, get some lighter. So Okay, I think the eyes are like still funny. Like they're not low enough. So, I'm going to say this is one where I'm going to keep the eye, and I'm going to get some white, the black, get some blue, phthalo blue, and do some of that. One as much as I did over here. Alright. So, I mean, just right there, that makes it cuter. Just, like, instantly. And then... I need to go... I don't think it'll be too...
too, too much longer. I'll let the eyes dry and I want to take some of my white. And let's see, get some water with it. Get some white and do just let's see. I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna use my Filbert Granier. Just kind of tap it and then pull and let it do some hair where I want. So we're getting the, some lighter color, so you're starting to look cuter. Alright, I'm going to get some yellow ochre, some white, and I'm going to tap on top of his head. Get some of that lighter yellow and I'll water it down now. Get some my cadmium yellow just a little bit and get that white and do So I think it's, I'm going to um, zoom out now and I want to kind of cover um, the bottom with some grass now since it might take a few coats. So I'm going to get my angle brush, I'm going to get my phthalo green and I need some more my yellow. Okay. Get some white, some yellow, and do 
some of these. Grass. Okay. And I'm going to get some white and do some white grass. darker green and get some burnt sienna. Some of that lighter. We'll get some white and do some white. Get some yellow. All right, and I'll get some of this like light yellow color and do some of this like grass in front that's blur blurred out. And I'm going to get some of this lighter color and cover up the grass I got on it. All right. Want to. Okay, I just got some of that like dark brown and then some of the 
yogurt and burnt sienna. And there's like a, a tag on his collar. So I'm going to get the black and do black make that tag Oops. the grass is kind of covering it now Make a gray and do kind of just attach that on there. Now for the dog, this eye needs some work, so I'm going to get the yellow ochre. some burnt sienna Some on the nose there. Alright, and while that's, I'm going to leave that alone for the minute, and do some burnt sienna between the ears and the head, and some black.
Okay, get some yellow ochre. Kind of blend the colors. Okay, and get some cadmium yellow and not, I don't want it like super super yellow but get some yellow on it. Okay, and put some yellow on, on his back, and put some yellow side. All right, now that yellow ochre not wanting to work. Okay, take some burnt sienna and go on the edge of this dark spot. dark here bit of white and go where I want to make it a little lighter. Now, let's see, I want to get a little bit more Get some yellow, cadmium yellow, and go over the white, and that'll make it brighter. And 
some yellow ochre. And a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm going to try to get it. This is probably just one of the last things I'm going to do. And I think I think that's pretty good. So I also want to take my filbert granier again, get some of that white and just tap some on his nose. And tap a little bit more on top of his head. Do just a little bit more white on there. All right. So now I'm going to I'm gonna get my number one round again. Get some white, just a little bit of black. And I'm going to make the highlight in the eye just a little brighter. I think that's good. So I'm going to take my Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen and sign it down here. And I can kind of zoom in so you can really see the details. So that's up close. So zoom back out now. Okay, so there's the puppy dog. It's cute when it has the highlights in the hair and on the eyes <laughs> so it started out not looking so good but when you keep going it looks a lot better so um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, next Friday is going to be this super easy um, bird um, with some grass and stuff and we already did um, those blue flowers last Friday. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see those other videos, you can press Emily Powers Art right below the video and it will take you to my channel and you can watch some of my other videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.